Hey guys, at three o'clock today, the SUNYAC office made the announcement that uh, winter seasons are going to be canceled. Um, I don't exactly know what to say. Um, obviously this is not news that we wanted to hear. It breaks my heart. I think I'm still kind of in shock processing all the information that it's not happening, you know, reflecting in the car ride home from work when we were told from our department this was happening. I'm thinking I've gone 30 years of my life and never not had a swim season. And I don't know what all of the details are of it. I know that we won't have a SUNYAC championships. I know that there won't be any SUNYAC competition. I know that I will never stop being involved in your lives. I'm gonna continue to put positive everything out there that I can and be there for you as a support in any way, shape I am able to, however you need me to be. I'm still going to try to do creative dry land type stuff once everybody's, you know, finished with their medical clearance. And I know that seems ridiculous to think about right now. I hear myself saying it and I feel like that. But if we're going to do even virtual stuff, if I'm involved, I have, you guys have to be medically cleared to participate with me. Um, and so I hope that everybody would just kind of play along with that, you know. Um, I know that when the pool opens, I'm going to make time available for those of you who are in the area to come by and get in the water and do whatever you want. Um, and I know that... Um, if we are in person next semester, because that I don't know, um, the new president took over today and I would imagine that decision is going to be announced sooner than later, but I'm again, still holding out hope that people will be here in the spring. And when you guys are here in the spring, I will still make pool time available and if Cortland wants to do a virtual meet and I want to be able to do a virtual meet with them, then maybe we'll figure something out like that. Um, none of you are losing a season of eligibility and none of you are losing eligible time against your eligibility, meaning that academically, even though you were full-time enrolled each of these two semesters, you will not have lost two semesters of academic eligibility. Um, and you all have a full year of eligibility left. And I know for our seniors, that may not be, you know, it may not mean anything because you're done. But if you're not, and if you're not sure what you wanna do, you could take, you know, a, a grad class or two and have the opportunity to have your senior year. Um, it makes me sick to my stomach to think about all of this and trying to process it. I can't even imagine how you all must feel and I'm so sorry and my heart breaks for you and I, I just want you to know more than anything, I'm here for you. I'm going to be, I'm going to jump on Microsoft Teams later on tonight around 8.30. Um, I'm not making any announcements. I'm just going to be there like office hours. If people want to get on and talk and ask questions, um, you can feel free to do that. If you have family members that want to get on and talk and ask questions, um, I may not always have the answers, but I will take notes and I will write them down and I'll make sure that I know what the answers to your questions are when I'm able to get that information available to me. Um, for right now, that's all I've got to say. I just wanted you guys to be able to hear it from me sooner than later um, instead of like other social media outlets. And um, I love you guys very much and I'm so sorry this is not what any of us were hoping for.